Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at Winnebago's smallest motorhome that they make on the Class C lineup. This is the 2021 Winnebago Outlook Model 22E with no slide outs. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV reviews it's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I'm super excited to be showing you this 2021 Winnebago Outlook but before we begin I would like to say hi to Andrea hi Andrea hi everyone how's it going it's going good Watch to everybody where we are. Hey guys, we are still here in Wixom, Michigan. Yep. This is the third RV we're going to review today. Super excited, you guys. Yeah. Bring you this content. But just because we're reviewing three in a day, they're only watching one every oh, other day. Oh, that's true. We appreciate it. And tell everybody about our new keychains. Yes, you guys. Bing! Check out our new keychains. We're only selling them till the end of the month because yes. how they work is you guys place the orders and then Teespring will make them all at one time. So make sure you get yes. the keychain. <laughs> we appreciate it. Let's begin. And we'll start over here. Model is Outlook 22E, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 2 inches. This is the Winnebago Outlook. It's their entry level Class C motorhome. Now it does sit on the E350 chassis, but even though it's a 2021, it still has the Ford 6.8 liter V10 engine with 305 horsepower. It is not the V8. Nope. Not the V8. Okay. I'm telling you, I, I know what I'm looking at. Andrea, I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Not the V8. It is the V10 engine. Always, I'll show you on the inside how to identify if it's the V8 or the V10. Okay. Just always make sure, especially if you're buying one online, to make sure if you want the V10, get the V10. If you want the V8, get the V8. Check out these tires, Andrea. These are the Dynapros Hand Cook LT225 75 R16. And then, as you can see, we do have the bunk over the cab right there. Okay, check out these nice chrome mirrors. I love this. And even for a small entry level motorhome, they still put the camera in right there. Left blinker, right blinker, and awesome. reverse. I love that. As you can see right here, nice, huge power awning with LED lights. I love how it goes the length of the whole motorhome. I love that. Right here, you have your tank fill for your potable water. Potable, potable. <laughs> and then right here, Okay. is a little bit of storage and look at that we got a little thing there that's for a pet pal babies. for yuna let's show yuna to everybody bing and we can bring yuna camping with us and leash her up right there so she doesn't go chasing the squirrels <laughs> right here here's a external plug coax if, coax if you want tv on the outside here's your water tank do not like how it doesn't match the motorhome but we'll get to that in a little bit and then here is a little bit more storage nice great Coming around the back, Andrea. You got your bumpers for your stinky slinky. I love that. Look at this. Spare tire and spare tire carrier. Super awesome. Black tank flush right there. Backup camera already recorded. Not recorded. Backup camera already installed. 7,500 pound hitch. I personally wouldn't do that. I would stick with 5,000, maybe a little bit more. Always, before you tow anything, always check your GVWR and your cargo carrying capacity. And you have a ladder to get up on the one piece Crossflex PVC roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on. Here we go now. You've done a lot of roof climbing today. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece Crossflex PVC roof. Right there, you do have your AC unit. I believe we optioned it with a 15K air conditioning unit. There's your digital antenna. And right there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. I got it, Matt. Hold on. Here we go now. Last step. Yeah. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV sales on the gold take his fat ass all the way up to Michigan? Go up on the roof. And show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. I checked this out. This storage is fantastic. This storage is huge. For a small Look at that, guys. Class C motorhome. This is some of the best storage I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, you normally don't see that. Right, very awesome. 
right there. That's where you dump your black and gray tank. Look how easy it is to get to. Huge fan of that. Right there is your 30 amp power cord. I like how they have its own designated area. And then right here is your 55 gallon fuel tank. Cable, hook up everything. Here's where you fill your city water. Here's gonna be your propane and Andrea. We will have all the tank sizes, lengths, with everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. And then finishing up, we do have a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Feeling groovy. It's a little dark in there. Check it out. Oh, I'll turn the lights on. Okay, oh, look bad. at this. No slides, everybody. Lights are on. And as you can see, because there is no slides, this is how it is all the time. Yep. Corner bed. Uh-huh. Here's the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, Andrea, since there's no slide outs, I'll make it quick. If everybody could just smash you that thumbs up button for us, let us know three things you love about this motorhome, three things you don't like about it. More people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more we get to travel and do reviews, and the more YouTube likes to promote our videos. And we thank you guys. Oh, and buy a keychain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Woo! It's hot, girl. It is hot. Did we bring the heat up here? We sure did. No, it's funny, um, you're not allowed to wear shorts up here in the northern source but you can down in Florida. So it's like, even though it's cooler, it's hotter. Yeah. So up here, V10 chassis, right? Now the, tell us how you could tell the difference. So it's the older style steering wheel. The V8 engines have the new modern steering wheels. Does that make sense yes. or no? Or should I show a picture? Yes, I would show a picture in- Right here, bing. That's the modern one and this is the old one. Okay. But still, I mean, it's not a huge difference in my opinion. Um, to each your own. Some people like the V10, some people like the V8. All right. This is pretty much standard, I guess. They're, I, I feel like they're all the same leg room, you guys, yep, honestly. They sure are. Uh, oh my gosh. What? 2,054 pounds of the for cargo carrying capacity. Of the CCC? Yeah. I love it. I love That's it. That's crazy. 2,054. Okay. All Here right. the bunk over the cab. Yes, ma'am. So we do have the bunk over the cab. It does hold 500 pounds. What I like as well, we do have a ladder. Oops, sorry, Andre. We do have the ladder right up here. So it does make it easy to go up and down the bed. Very, very nice got about that. an opening that. for a fan. You got the privacy curtain over there. Right here's your TV on a swing arm. You know, it is what it is. You know, a lot of things, a lot of things about this motorhome is a little pet peeves of ours but it's so small and that's what's so great. Yeah, I don't like this TV placement, but where else are you gonna put it? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Check out this dinette. Does drop down to make a bed. There is no storage like that, but maybe there is Underneath. this way. Oh. Dang, have it. These are annoying doors. <laughs> okay, wow. that's great. Very nice. Check it out, guys. Look at this window here. You do have like blinds, uh -huh. mini blinds. And I like that this is the Winnebago DIY look. Yes, DIY, plain. No, uh, we've said it once and we'll say it again. <laughs> no Winnebago outlooks are gonna look the exact same. And then look at the cabinetry, you know. Quality cabinetry in here. Yep. I gotta say, Winnebago does a fantastic job on the quality of yes. the cabinets. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm shaking it, you know. Well, Andrea. It's now time for the MSRP. Bam, 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 bam. MSRP on this motorhome here is $88,826 MSRP. Sale price, we have it 25% off, because that's the lowest we're allowed to show you, to $66,995. That's a pretty great price. But Andrea, yes. we can get everybody an even better price than that on this unit. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews.gmail.com 
or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, everybody, here's the kitchen. Check nice. it out. Look, again, look at this cabinetry. Got a nice shelf in there. Got a nice window, mini blinds, the balance. You got a Vanna White light here. Uh -huh. Double sink. Wow. We got three drawers here. One, two, two and three. three. Three drawers. Cabinet under the sink. Yeah. Our little mini trash can. We got a some cubby room up here for above the microwave. Again, you have the small microwave. Your panels here, guys. Three burner cooked up and a cabinet here. That was big. And then a drawer. Nice. And then, you guys, I'm actually really thrilled about this. You get a compressor fridge. Look how big it is, too. Yes, they could have gave a, a little fridge, but they didn't. Little motorhome, they should have done a little fridge, right. and I'm glad that they didn't. Over here, looks like we have the wardrobe. Yep, wardrobe, pantry area, whatever you want to do it with. Drawers. Drawers. Those are yep. big drawers. Yep. Okay, oh. are we going to do the bed, Matt? No, I got it. I All got right. it. Let me climb up on up. Let me climb up there, I'll drag you. <laughs> nice corner bed. I like this, okay? You got your blind right here, the window, again, the DIY with the balance. Big cabinet Look up there. how big that is there. Yes. And you get a shelf up there, too. Ba -ding. The Vanna White Lights. Little shelves for you to put your, like, Tonka cars or whatever. <laughs> and I tell you, you know, the Tonka. corner bed isn't horrible. Again, it's so small, you don't want something with slide outs, so that's the way it is. And then right up there, you do have your coax cable and everything. All right, let's see this bathroom. All right. Here we go now. <laughs> okay, All so right. a shower curtain would go there. Yep, and I saw the shower curtain in the bag. Um, yeah, but it is a shower curtain. Not the biggest shower, not the smallest shower. Again, in Class C world, I don't like this shower. In Class B world, I love this shower. So it's one of those things. If you're looking for a Class C, I don't like the shower. Whereas if you're looking for a Class B, but you're considering a small Class C, then this shower is absolutely great. Andre, why don't you show that sink? There's a Max Air fan right there, guys. Uh huh. Got a nice medicine cabinet here. Uh huh. Winnebago, they do a good job. Uh, cute little round sink, and a cabinet under here. And look at the toilet paper holder all the way over there. Nice, that's a good spot. Let me see if you can reach it. Yep, no, I can reach it. Here's the question. This is not a porcelain toilet. Let me see, I want to see you stretch your hand out there. Oh, oh, oh okay. It. Oh, I got it. Don't worry about that, I got that. Here's what I will say, this is almost sad. This is a prime pooping position, but it's not porcelain, so we can't give them the award. This is a great, this is a great position, great height, great everything. I actually really like it. I wish they put a porcelain toilet in it, but it's all good. Well, Andrea, that was a quick little review, it wasn't sure it? It was. And as quick as it was, and as great as it was, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay. Can you go first? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Definitely. <laughs> oh, don't definitely me. All right, uh, I'm a little upset. Well, this, I, I feel like this should have been a convection microwave. Yep. Bing, bing. Yeah. It should be a microwave convection oven. I have no problem with there not being an oven. Yes. But that means you make the microwave a convection oven. Gotta have it. Yep. Yes. With it being a regular microwave, I 100% uh, concur. Okay, so that's one. Two. Okay. Oh, I'll go. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Okay, guys. Not a fan of the shower. Uh, it's not a big surprise. I feel like I know a lot of people might like the curtain in the in the what is it called the shower curtain. Yep. But I like the Nautilus type. I, I like the Nautilus shower curtains. I like them on a track because they stay on there. So, yeah, that's my dislike. Okay, so that's two, and I guess I gotta find a dislike, unless Andrea has all three. Um, I don't know. Here's what I'm gonna add. You ready for this? Well, one, I wish they painted this white. It would have looked better white. But two, I wish that they put a TV on the outside, not just this, okay? Yeah. Here's why. My opinion, small motor home. People aren't gonna be inside relaxing, watching television. They're gonna, 
a lot of these small motorhomes, it's because you spend more time on the outside than the inside. So that's something that I really like. So I wish they had a TV on the outside rather than the inside. So you can sit out here with a chair, with a folding chair and watch yes, the TV. I agree. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You're raising your hand, you wanna go again? I wanna go again. All right, talk to me. Okay, so this storage is fabulous on here, everybody. Check mm -hmm. this out. You know, we, we, like we said it before, you don't see a lot of storage this big on Class C's. Yep. It's great. Yes, absolutely. People that are involved in dog shows need to have those crates in there. Yep. Or if you're, you know, full-time RVing, it's it's perfect. Yeah, no problem. What say you, Matt? Um, something that I would like to add that I totally forgot during the review. I like the quality and construction of the Winnebago. I love how great the cabinet feels and everything. And the Asdell. And the Asdell. I forgot to mention that. Winnebago uses the Asdell sidewall composite, which is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. Um, so if there's if there ever is a water leak, which could happen, um, the wood will there's no wood, so it won't swell up. So I'm a huge fan of that. So that's two, and then three. I'm gonna say we're going back to the bathroom. The toilet position, and here's why I'm saying this. I wish I could have given it the four P's, y'all, but part of the four P's is porcelain, and this isn't porcelain. But if you buy from Matt from Matt's RV reviews, or it doesn't you know it doesn't matter who you are, you rip out that son of a gun and put a nice porcelain toilet on your bomb, that is going to be a prime pooping position. <laughs> and it's amazing how big and spacious it is, especially for a motorhome with no slide outs. Not to mention the cargo carrying capacity. Yeah, what was that again? Twenty two thousand fifty four pounds. Right, they could have put a porcelain toilet from a bomb. But great, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's myself. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing. Also, there's a contact me page down below. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Winnebago does read the comments, so we appreciate all your feedback. Also, if you haven't gotten to see our, our keychains yet, bing! Make sure you bing, check those out. Bing! <laughs> bing! We are bing. only selling them through the whole month of September. Only September, yep. Yes, so make sure you get those. Uh, they will all be shipped out all at once. Yep, we're batch ordering yep. them, and then they're each going to get shipped out individually. Absolutely. Which one's your favorite, Andrea? Uh, the one of us two. Oh, bing! <laughs> Thanks. But I hope you guys are safe and you guys are doing well. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next.